events left at the anti-racism um, network, um, who stirred Kenny had been defunct then, called another rally. Did you resign as as, uh, as chair? As well, in the early in them early days, there was whenever I left the SWP, there was that animosity between myself and the other members of the SWP on the on the on the, on the steering committee. That was that was the reality of it, and even in recent times. That same animosity is there. I'm putting the blog up um, in the next couple of days and I'll go into more detail about that. But at the end of the day, my politics is quite simple. I don't care what anybody says to me. I don't care what anybody states to me. No matter what, if something happens and nothing's being done, then I and others will argue for something to be done and to push it in the direction of open, democratic and an accountable organisation. But what I've found is that such organisations and others try to control and dictate the terms and the organisation and it will not work. And then it will not happen on my watch because at the end of the day there may be campaigns set up in that remit but if they're not open, accountable and democratic then I will argue for it and if not other things will be initiated and worked around it or with it. So you became more or less disillusioned with that type of what politics are type of authoritarian politics and then based, and then you got involved as well in um, street scene later on as well. It was more yes, like street scene, yes, yes. Street scene was like many things in life, you know, uh, maybe poverty, homelessness, um, many other things in life which I've had direct experience of. This was something I was uh, interested in from the start. Uh, myself and uh, another young uh, activist John, we set up a, a newspaper, but the newspaper was to be for homeless and houseless people to be able to write for, um, to write in, to get their message heard, but also i uh, come to understand, you know, given my experience of the diktat uh, and, and uh, those dictating unelected from afar to us, that you had to work in an unhierarchical way, so it meant that, you know, it was only for people to write in, but at the same time, it needed to be grassroots in the sense that with street scene you'd seen those involved in it, you know, marching through, the, through Dublin, occupation, street protests, etc. Of, of homeless and houseless people, which had been seen in many, many years um, for their rights and also as a vehicle to give them access to uh, putting their, 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 their points across. So it was that and I was involved in it and it was necessary, but also at a side part it gave me a breathing space. Mm -hmm. It gave me breathing space to try and understand where I was in my political life, where I wanted to, to, want to go to, and, and given the lessons of the past, I knew that whatever I go forward to, it has to be non-hierarchical. It has to be something which is open, democratic, and accountable. Not just a name, not just by saying the activists, which I've experienced before. Yes, we're all democratic, you can say your point or whatever, but in fact, you're told what to do. In my case, from another country unelected in London or on the occasions I have witnessed before being told that when one tendency had been kicked out of it that they had not give, had not written a reply or given a reply which I had to so I was lied to and even in other cases when I was going to put in a motion for conference being pulled to say told to be putting this motion in you know so many things which were undemocratic keeping on the thing of um, street scene um, how long did the paper last for many copies it only, it only lasted for several copies. Um, several issues. Yeah. Several, several issues. Um, and then the student in North and South, I take it out. The student North, quite a lot of copies, two thousand copies, North and South, and it was an important thing to do. Um, but uh, eventually, it, it wound up. It, it did what it had to do at that period of time. John went on to do his thing, um, and I had found uh, my political home. Uh, with an organised at the yeah. time. Um, so you talk a bit of a time out, you're briefly politically inactive during that period and then you decided to get involved in the organised. Why was that? Well, I would say that I wasn't politically inactive. I still think the issue of homelessness is a political mm -hmm. issue. Oh, um, yeah. So it was, to me, it was political. Mm -hmm. um, but I moved to organise um, for... The primary reasons was that, and like many people who, who start off in such uh, revolutionary socialist left parties, um, leave because of the lack of democracy. 
within it, the lack of open transparency, the lack of accountability. No matter what's said and done, that's the reality. So I left there for a non hierarchical organisation. I looked around and I seen an organised at the time were the most visible. I respected a number of their members in it. I knew that they, 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 they'd been graphing for many as a year on the ground. And so um, I applied to join organised and join organised and, and within that time we had lots of successes and you know, calling pickets and Latin solidarity and stuff at the same time. Um, but eventually, you know, I found that uh, I had to move on to join uh, another organisation which I am in now, the Worker Solidarity Movement, which I intend to stay in for my political life because I have no problems the way it organises, the way it seeks to organise with others and it, it's politics. Um, so just, um, what does Amicus mean for you exactly and do you mean optimistic for social change, revolution change in the future? Well. Anarchism, like republicanism or like socialism, to me, they're all names, but it's what that name actually means in practice, is what I'm about. I've been involved in the early years, and what you asked me a question, what do you think of republicanism? I didn't know republicanism was right, but years later I realised I was a republican, and engaged in, and marched and protesting in republican things, but I didn't know what it was. You ask what revolutionary socialism is, you could ask what revolutionary socialism is. I thought it was one thing, but when I got into it, I realised that marching around and round in circles and, you know, running the front of protests or placards or putting all the action and ag agitation in, but you weren't really actually achieving anything at the end of the day. And more importantly, for the time of revolutionary socialism, it was usually the more liberal issues that you're involved in, but the hard issues, the, 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 the issues of, of the state, of policing, of beating people, of prisoners' issues, plastic bottles, all those issues were just left to the side. And indeed, it was me as an individual within that last Socialist Workers' Party who actually was on those protests, who did picket, who did march, who did bring them forward. So that revolution Socialism has a different name, but it wasn't what I thought was in practice. For anarchism, for me, it's about... First of all, it's about the way it seeks to organise, and, and people say there's a contradiction, anarchism and organised, but I have to say, from my own experience, that WSM is very, very organised, you know, in the sense that they know that it's nece the necessity to, to, to get a paper out, they, they, they are very open in the way they engage, they're democratic, they're accountable, they seek to work with grassroots activists in pushing the issue forward, and they want to see a society which is not dominated by political parties, but by people and citizens, working class people themselves deciding the way forward uh, within, their, within their communities, within workplaces, or wherever. So that's for me what anarchism is about. And with that in mind, and given what I haven't been a Republican, didn't know what it was, I haven't been a revolutionary socialist, no one it was, but didn't believe that it was what I stated. And now with anarchism, knowing what it is, and working with it, within it, and also the history of my political life, that I believe that it knows what it's about, it knows how you have to go about affecting change, and more importantly for me, it's about working and embracing working class communities, working within their workplaces, within communities and stuff, etc., to move the issue forward. I'd love to see a society which is based on the politics of anarchism. And as I said earlier on to you, Sean, you know, I got a glimpse of what I believe a future society, the very, very, the very, very minute thing is about. It's a way a community, in my sense, at that time it was about a community coming together and the sense of spirit, the solidarity, looking out for each other, standing in defence of each other. That is just a glimpse of what a future society could, 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 could be and how it is possible. But the important issue for anarchism is how do we get there? And the lessons of anarchism shows how hard we envisage getting there, but at the same time, for me, as I say, given my history, it's the way it organises, the open, democratic, accountable way of organises, but also envisages that society and works to get there. And that's why, I, as I say, I found my home uh, where I am now. And I have to say, on the, on the, the Belfast WSM, given there are limited numbers, though, you know, we have a number of new members coming to, to the fore now, 
the work that we have done with such small numbers shows you the possibility 